Like everyone else in this world, I am plagued with fears. If someone denies their fears, they're ignorant. At least that's what I heard. But ignorance is bliss. Here's my list to share. One, I'm afraid of the dark. No, not for what lurks inside it like vampires and the boogeyman. The black abyss is enough. It could swallow me whole and I won't be able to find the light ever again. That's why I always look on the lighter side of things, never the dark. Two, I'm afraid of being betrayed. There's the possibility that someone will plunge that knife behind my back, but I won't know until it's too late. A family member, a friend, or a complete stranger? That's why I stay loyal and never decide to make enemies, only friends. Three, I'm afraid of being abandoned. Like when a seven-year-old girl finds the next morning that daddy vanished off the face of the earth, only to find out 10 years later that her daddy has a new family, a new daughter to hold and to give the love that he never gave to her. That's why I hold on to my loved ones, family and friends, so I hope they'll never let go, because I won't. Four, I'm afraid of silence. Not for the fear of what they'll say next, but the poison of my thoughts once things get quiet. Whispers of doubts I tried pushing away for years. Fat, stupid, no one really likes you, so annoying. That's why I always strike up conversations and keep, and keep it going, even if I'm telling an old memory about myself. Five, I'm afraid of words, not for the things that will sound unpleasant to me. It's because if you arrange one letter in words, it can spell sword. Words may be a tool for us to communicate, but they can also be tools for, to kill someone. Abusing the power of speech can hurt someone, especially when it's someone else who's been hurt by them. That's why I don't abuse my speech with insults and threats, nor will I ever do so. I use words for its purpose, to express myself. Six, I'm afraid of choices. There are multitudes of it and that will be offered in my life, but that's only part of my fear. Choices in life is like a labyrinth. I have no idea where I'm going and no idea if I have made a wrong decision. One day, it might get me to a dead end in life. Seven, I'm afraid of the future. Not small pests of thoughts like, where am I going for college? What am I going to do in life? No, bigger fears clutch my throat. Possibilities of wars, diseases, epidemics, famine for years, and so many worse things. That's why I choose to educate myself, so I can be able to help prevent those horrible options from coming upon us. These are my fears. I won't deny them like so many others have done, because with these here in my head, they'll make sure I won't change, ever.